So, I would first just like to point out it's absolutely freezing in here again because uh, this room doesn't have any heating. But anyway, I've been watching a few of my videos recently and I've noticed that I think my intros are too long. So from now on, I'm going to try and cut them down, keep them short so it doesn't get boring. Um, also, Thetford again, I know, but I live in the worst part of the country for mountain biking. I live in Norfolk, the flattest, one of the flattest parts of the country. The only real places to bike are Sheringham, Backton, which aren't genuine ones, Thetford uh, and Twisted Oaks. So I haven't really got many places, but I'll try and make the best. Anyway. I won't use the boost feature, just giving it away. Hero 8 Black, yep, got it yesterday. Absolutely amazing camera, perfect. Yeah, I've got screen protectors on it to protect it, so hopefully the lens won't get smashed. But yeah, all round great camera, so I'm super happy to use that. I'm now about to sort out my chin mount, so hopefully it works because it came off after last time. And yeah, so. I will see you when we get there. You may also notice that I'm wearing some new clothes. I'll just put my GoPro over here. Um, I'm wearing a Fox jumper. I can't remember the exact name of her. A super warm and comfy. Um, I've got a Velcro here. So I'm gonna try and embroider a logo, which I can then Velcro onto it when I want and then take off. Um, I've also now got some proper Fox Ranger shorts, which look a lot better than my old ones and some knee pads, I've got the Fox Launch Pro, uh, really comfy, great, gonna use them today as well. So, let's not keep this intro long, like I said, and let's get into the video. I will just point out that in this video, I did have slightly the wrong settings on my GoPro. I also had the wrong field of view to start with, uh, didn't look too good. And then later on I put it into super view, although hyper smooth, even though it was in normal mode, looked really shaky for some reason in low light conditions. I think again it was my settings, which I have now changed and hopefully it will be better for my next video. I'm still kind of doing trial and error with it to try and get the best settings and work it out. But yes, yeah, so this video will have some shaky footage, plus the lens fogged up because it had a faulty lens protector on it that was bad, which I have now replaced. So yeah, excuse that, and let's get into it. the mist setting over the forest. It's quite cool actually. It's great. So I see how the Hero 8 copes in here compared to the Hero 7. Oh god. Oh.
beautiful. Really is setting in now, the mist. Oh! Oh, God. And not get any. Watch out, coming up. This next video here of the beast is a fine example of just how bad the Hyper Smooth was doing. I really don't know what caused it and why it did it, but it was really shaky in these low light conditions, although they aren't really that low and my Hero 7 seemed to cope fine here. But anyway, it seems alright now, now I've changed the settings a bit, but let's watch it and you can see for yourself. With the dropper down it feels really good. So, if the footage looks cloudy today, it's not the camera, it's the mist, because there's loads of mist. Anyway, also, with the microphone, I can't remember whether I put it in stereo or in wind, so I'll have to check. So if it's in stereo, sorry for the wind noise, I've still got to make a muffler for it. If it was in wind, sorry for the bad audio. So, anyway. Oh, this is the first time I've ever put my dropper down, going down here, and it feels great. Well, that one I had to break. Couldn't see where I was going. Drop her back up. Oh, look at that. It's really cold in here again. I'm actually filming this outro on my Hero 8, so we can see if the audio sounds better. Now, I would agree, in this video, I did a few things wrong. That always happens when I get a new camera. To start with, I had completely the wrong settings. Um, I think I... It just needed a bit of adjusting. I don't think I had it done tight enough, done up tight enough, on my helmet. And of course, it would wobble a bit because of the fingers now, instead of the other mounting permanent things I had on the Hero 7. But anyway, I've... I just did a quick run and test up my garden with it in the bike mode because it's kind of dark outside and it came out alright. If you're going to get it, definitely get it. It's a great camera, super smooth, 
I've just got to get the right settings. Below, I'll put the correct settings to use if you want a bike ride. Uh, depends where you want it on your chin or your chest. Uh, I'll still put that in the description. But anyway, yeah, so I definitely recommend this camera. It was just this video that was bad. So basically, don't use this video as a. So this weekend, we're going to be going somewhere different, and I'm going to take this camera, hopefully, try it out. I also put a new lens protector on the lens because the old one had something wrong with it and fogged up, but this one is alright. So, hopefully, next video with the Hero 8 will be better. I'm not too worried about this video because I know that it was probably just a one off that the footage was bad. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the trail.